फिफ्थ ग्रेड साइंस चैप्टर सेवन फूड चेन न्यू वर्ड्स सीरीज थिंग्स इवेंट्स ऑफ सिमिलर काइंड दैट हैपन वन आफ्टर द अदर प्रोड्यूस टू मेक समथिंग स्मॉलर और लेस इन साइज और नंबर surroundings everything that is near or around something environment the natural world in which people animals and plants live sun the primary source of energy do you like to play and jump around have you ever wondered how you get energy to play jump and dance This energy comes from food we eat. All animals including humans depend either directly or indirectly on plants for food. This flow of energy is explained below. Energy from sunlight to plants, from plants to herbivores, from herbivores to carnivores and omnivores. Plants prepare their own food using energy from the sun. so they are called producers animals cannot prepare their own food so they eat plants or other animals they are called consumers the animals that eat only plants are called herbivores since they depend on plants directly for their food they are called primary consumers for example cow go sheep and deer animals that eat other animals are called carnivores for example crocodile alligator lion and fox animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivores for example bear and sparrow since the carnivores and omnivores eat other animals that depend on plants for their food they are called secondary consumers the carnivores that eat other other carnivores are called tertiary consumers they are usually on the top of a food chain for example vultures eagles and owl food chain the transfer of energy from one organism to another in a sequence is called a food chain thus a food chain is a series of steps that shows how each living thing gets its food food chains move in one direction where a producer will be eaten by a primary consumer a primary consumer by a secondary consumer and so on There are various food chains in nature. Food chain also exists in water. Such a food chain is called an aquatic food chain. Scavengers are the animals, birds or insects that feed on the dead and decaying matter. Vultures, crows, and hawks are the scavenger birds that consume dead animals as food decomposers break down the dead plants and animals into useful products which help the plants to grow well few examples are microorganisms like bacteria and fungi an example of food chain is given below the grass is eaten by a grasshopper The grasshopper in turn is eaten by a frog. The frog is eaten by a snake and the snake is eaten by a hawk. Thus, we can say that a food chain is all about who eats whom. What do you think would happen if the number of snakes increases suddenly? Once the snake eat up all the frogs there will be no food left for the snakes and they would die soon this will disturb the entire food chain so it is very important to have a balance in nature camouflage 
Some animals have special features to match with the background in which they live so that it becomes difficult to locate them. This is known as camouflage. Animals camouflage to protect themselves from their enemies. For example, leaf insects, stick insects and chameleon. Extinct and endangered animals. There were some animals which we which were there on the earth some hundreds of years back. They are no longer alive today. Such animals are known as extinct animals. For example, dinosaurs, dodo, and Himalayan quill. There are some other groups of animals whose numbers have reduced to such an extent that they are in danger of becoming extinct. Such groups of animals are called endangered animals. For example, tiger, panda and gorilla. Why do some animals become endangered or extinct? Human population is increasing. People are cutting trees to build their homes, factories and farms. The natural hab habitat of animals, that is forests, are being destroyed. Hunting and fishing is another reason that put the lives of many animals in danger. People kill animal, animals for their fur, oil, body parts, meat and many other things. Population Name of the tree and the products obtained. Teakwood and sandalwood used for making furniture. Coconut, mango, tea, jackfruit are used for construction material. Willow tree, sports material and cricket bat. Pine tree used for making ships and railway coaches silk cotton tree are used for making matchsticks matchbox toys and bed bubble bath tree used for the parts of bullock cart eucalyptus used as paper do you know the wood obtained from redwood trees does not catch fire easily other uses of flowers. A flower is the reproductive structure of a plant. The main function of a flower is to produce more plants of the same kind. So it is called the reproductive unit of the plant. Due to the color and pleasant fragrance of flowers, they are used in religious ceremonies, perfumes and in the cosmetic industry. For example, flowers like rose, lily, lotus, dahlia, jasmine, etc. play a key role in preparation of cosmetic products like talcum powder, bathing soap, deodorants and perfumes. Thank you.